ETSU enters the Atlantic Sun Conference Tournament as the sixth seed. They take on the three-seeded Stetson Hatters. The Bucks have the longest active streak going in to the semifinal six consecutive years. They haven't lost in the first round since 2006 against Gardner-Webb. Top of the key for three. The three-point streak stays alive for the Bucs. 795 consecutive games with a make from out there. That was Lester Wilson now driving to the hoop. John Walton, a nice take coming off the bench. He would finish with nine rebounds and six points on the day. Coach Bartow trying to implore his offense, and they get it going. Jarvis Jones, top of the key. He nails the triple. And the Bucks able to work the basketball around Hunter Harris, an open jumper. That wouldn't go, but how about working the glass? John Walton, a big-time offensive rebound, banks it high off the glass, gets it to go again, a big first half for John Walton. Kennard gets and Gilliard drives down a lane, takes the punishment. He converts the bucket. He did not convert, though, on the three-point opportunity. He missed the free throw. John Walton on inbounds play. Again, nice job getting to the rim. How about a skip pass to Rashawn Rimber to big-time three bucks would lead by as many as eight. And how about this? A little open happiness, a little Coca-Cola for us, a big sponsor. And how about Sonny Smith, former ETSU head coach, enjoying a diet beverage at the ball game. Driving to the hoop, banking it off the glass, Jarvis Jones, and that was far and few between for the Bucks as they were on a scoring drought. Stetson went on an 18-1 to run to take command of the game. But late in the second half, how about the senior Jarvis Jones, uh, possibly and actually is his final bucket as an ETSU player after five years in the program. Lester Wilson, our turnaround jumper, just wasn't enough for the Bucks as the Hatters go on to a 67-46 win. Wilson and Jones each with 11 points. The Bucks shot just 25% from the field. Here's head coach Murray Bartow. Credit to Stetson. You know, Stetson certainly played better, made more plays. Uh, so, I, you know, Casey's done a nice job with their program, and um, – they certainly were the better team today. So I think number one credit goes to them. Um, you know, first half, really I felt we should have been up 12 to 15 at half. We probably missed 10 shots within three inches of the rim. And, you know, we make those shots, we're probably 12, 15 up at half. We don't, and all of a sudden, you know, it's, a eight, it's still an eight point game with 59 seconds to play in the half. They make a run, cut it to three. We still felt really good at half. We're up three, felt we should have been up 15, and then the second half they just snowballed us. I mean, it just they just dominated in every phase of the game. And uh, they defended better than we did, executed better than we did. Our execution offensively was, was not good. Our free throw shooting was not good. We couldn't get stops at the other end. And they just, you know, obviously in the second half they – you know, they beat us in every phase of the game. 